Like this video and subscribe channel right now, or you're going to face terrible luck next week. Some animals don't just know their surroundings, they are their surroundings. Or at least that's what their enemies think. Camouflage is an ancient art, and species around the planet depend on it daily for survival. Whether it's a gecko blending into bark, or a jaguar fading into foliage, blending in with one's surroundings can mean the difference between eating and being eaten. Here are 10 animals with incredible camouflaging abilities plus one surprising creature that may not be as interested in camouflage as you thought. Number 10. The Impala. Tell me honestly, look at this photo and tell me if you can see an animal. You don't. Do you? I guarantee that there is. It took me a few minutes of the spot just because it's so well camouflaged. The animal so expertly hidden in the photo is the Impala. Impalas are medium-sized antelopes that roam the savanna and light woodlands of eastern and southern Africa. In the rainy season, when food is plentiful, they may gather in large herds of several hundred animals to browse on grasses and herbs, bushes, shrubs and shoots. Herds offer protection from predators such as lions. An alert impala will bark out an alarm that puts the entire herd to flight, and a fleeing impala is no easy prey. Impalas are fleet runners who can leap distances of up to 33 feet. They use this technique to escape predators, and sometimes simply to amuse themselves. The impala can also clear bushes and other obstacles by soaring some 10 feet in the air. Typically a running impala will simply jump over anything in its path, but when the protection of the herd is not enough and fleeing at great speeds is not an option, impalas, especially the young ones, can easily blend in the tall grass. Before moving to the next number we just want small favor from you. Like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get one week good luck for you. Try this it really works. Number 9. The Pygmy Seahorse. Pygmy seahorses aren't simply tiny seahorses. They are a distinct group of animals that live in the tropical oceans of Southeast Asia. Most are no more than 2.5 centimeters or 0.98 inches in length. At the moment, there are seven known species, although at least one biologist who studies the animals believes they should be divided into additional ones. Scientists suspect that there are many more pygmy seahorses waiting to be discovered. Pygmy seahorses live among much larger animals, called sea fans. A sea fan is a colony of small animals known as polyps. It has a branched, fan-like structure made of calcium, carbonate, and protein and resembles coral. Pygmy seahorses are often very hard to see as they rest on a branch of a particular sea fan, since the appearance of their body surface resembles that of their back. Their bodies are covered with rounded bumps that look like polyps, as well as stripes and spots that help them blend in with their background. Number 8. The Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko. If there's one thing I've learned about camouflage while researching for this video is that the best kind is something that allows you to look like something you aren't. Animals mimic tree bark, grass, and even snow, but the most effective yet, and maybe that's the reason a lot of animals utilize it is to look like dead leaves. And the antley named satanic leaf-tailed gecko is definitely one of them. This satanic leaf-tailed gecko was one of 14 species in its genes, including the mossy leaf-tailed gecko. These geckos are found only in Madagascar and only emerge at night to hunt. It's thought that they're after mostly insects, yet little is known about their diet in the wild. In captivity, satanic leave their tails geckos feed on almost everything they can overwhelm, including crickets, flies, spiders, cockroaches, and snails. Their amazing camouflage is their first line of defense against predators, but that's definitely not the only trick up their leafy sleeves. When spotted by a predator, they would initially stand their ground, open their mouths in MATLAB cries, while brandishing their reddish tongue. They will also flash their tails to confuse the potential predator, but should that fail, they can leap deftly from branch to branch, or straight down to the leaf litter. Number 7. The Grey Tree Frog. Yep, there's a frog there in that photo. Don't be too hard on yourself if you can't see it. Most people wouldn't be able to. But most importantly, these frogs' predators wouldn't be able to see it as well as long as it sits still, at least. The gray tree frog is about 2 inches in length, 
It is green, gray or brown in color, and it can also be a solid color or Rickon blotches on its back. Oh no, this thing is a master of disguise. The gray tree frog is nocturnal it spends the day resting in trees and shrubs, and at night it crawls among the branches and leaves looking for food. It usually only comes out of the trees and bushes during the breeding season and in the winter. It hibernates under leaves, bark, or rocks on the forest floor. One amazing thing about this frog is that it can change its color in seconds. It tends to become darker when it's cold or dark its coloring helps it blend in with the tree bark. It also has a white underside and lots of warts it has large, sticky toe pads that help it cling to tree bark and other surfaces. And on top of all that, it has bright yellow to orange skin under its thighs. Number 6. The Arctic Fox. The best kind of camouflage is the type that will render someone or something completely invisible to the naked eye and in the great white north, no other creature has perfected this art more than the arctic fox. I mean, just look at this photo, all you see are parts of the fox's head. The arctic fox is a beautiful white coat that acts as a very effective winter camouflage. The natural hue allows the animal to blend into the tundra's ubiquitous snow and ice. When the seasons change, the fox's coat turns as well, adopting a brown or gray appearance that provides cover among the summer tundra's rocks and plants. This coloring helps foxes to effectively hunt rodents, birds, and even fish, but in winter, prey can be scarce on the ground. At such times, arctic foxes will allow the region's premier predator, a polar bear, to eat the leftover scraps from its kills. Foxes will also eat vegetables when they are available. Number 5. The Dead Leaf Mantis. This cryptic mantis lives to mimic dead leaves, hence the name, and is considered one of the most beautiful mantis out there. Their coloring ranges from dark brown to light browner, somewhere in the brown scope. They also possess a broad prothorax that looks ripped and crumpled like a leaf. When threatened, the dead leaf mantis will freeze and throw itself to the ground with all legs folded to look like a dead leaf. Clearly, this insect's camouflage is extremely effective. Just look at this photo. Not only does the mantis copy the color of dead leaves perfectly, but it also effectively mimics the jagged edges of dead leaves. If this guy would remain motionless in a pile of dead leaves, I wouldn't stand a chance of even spotting it. This insect's only giveaway is a pair of big, stunningly beautiful pitch black eyes that easily stand out against the brown background. Recently, these mantids have become a very popular pet for those with the taste of the exotic. Number 4. The Copperhead Snake. Here's a photo of a typical forest floor tell me, do you see anything unusual? Yeah, me neither, but that only attests to how amazing this animal's camouflage is. The thing is, this is one animal that you would want to spot immediately. Copperheads get their names from their bronze-hued heads. These large snakes found in the southern and eastern United States have bodies that range from tan to copper to gray, with characteristic hourglass-shaped stripes. The reptiles grow to lengths between 2 and 3 feet, although there are records of individuals longer than 4 feet. Their stout bodies abruptly taper toward their thin tails. Well being smaller than, say, like a python, they are responsible for more venomous snake bites than any other in the United States. They are widespread and populous they can also tolerate living in subdivisions and developed land, making interactions with humans even more common. But they are most at home living in the woods, where their intricately patterned back blends in perfectly with the forest floor. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 3. The Wraparound Spider. Known as the Wraparound Spider Dolophunes as a Genesis spider found primarily in Australia and Oceania. The genes contain 17 species known for their abilities to blend seamlessly into their surroundings during the day by wrapping themselves around twigs or flattening against tree bark. Most wraparound spiders have an upper abdomen, shaped like an inverted disc, composed of smaller discs with slits in them. This allows the spider to perfectly wrap itself around branches during the day, fooling potential predators. 
When night falls, the spiders become more active, spinning webs in between trees. Females typically measure about 9 mm in length fall males are significantly smaller at around 5 to 6 mm. They might spook you if you come upon one out of the woods, but don't worry, their venom doesn't appear to be harmful to humans. Then again, who needs venom when you can hide so easily? It is incredible to see the patterns and colorations of the different species and just how well they blend into whatever type of tree they're hidden against. Number 2. The European Eel. Animals evolved many ways to make sure the survival of their species in camouflage is just one of them. The European Eel however decided that colors and patterns matching their natural habitat is not enough, so they went with being invisible instead. Well, transparent, to be more specific. They're so transparent that they've also been called a glassfish, and one look at the photo should immediately tell you why. The body of this eel allows 100% of the light hitting it to pass through its body, with only its dark eyes visible at any given time. Not all European eels are this transparent though. They undergo a few color changes during their lives. They are completely transparent as soon as they hatch from their eggs, but develop color as they grow up. They turn brownish yellow on their sides and belly. After 5 to 20 years in fresh or brackish water, the eels become sexually mature. Their eyes grow larger, their flanks become silver, and their bellies are white in color. In this stage, the eels are known as silver eels. Number 1. The Great Horned Owl. Nope, you're not just looking at a photo of tree bark it's in there is an amazing bird, a silent, but deadly predator. And as you can plainly see, you do rather not see a master of camouflage as. Well, hiding in plain sight in the photo is the Great Horned Owl. The Great Horned Owl is the most common owl of the Americas. Easily recognizable because of the feather tufts on its head, that is, if you're lucky enough to see one. But they're so common that chances are you've already seen one of these majestic birds out in the wild, you just didn't realize it was there. It's easy to hear their marathon. Great horned owls are largely nocturnal, so they can be difficult to spot, but in the dark, after sunset, or just before dawn, they can be heard vocalizing with their well-known series of boos. Do you know of any other super camouflaged animals? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing.